I'm James. I'm the founder of Urban Golf. We started Urban Golf um, about 12 years ago, uh, coming up to 12 years this year. And I wanted to just do a little uh, a response to a question that we get asked quite a lot and a discussion that we end up having um, quite a lot and seeing some of the stuff that's being, being said on social media about simulators and launch monitors and all of, the, all of, those, uh, all of those cool things. Um, it's something that I've been involved with um, obviously for the last 12 years and a little bit before that because I do a lot of custom club work. Um, and it's something that we've spent a huge amount of time kind of researching and being involved in. So I think just to be able to give the story of how we've ended up with what we've ended up with and, and why we've ended up with it, I think is, um, is it really at the core of, of what Urban Golf is. So just to start off with, we, we started out with, with a certain simulator, um, which was what I call a second generation simulator. So in the second generation of simulators, uh, the technology started to work purely off of what the ball was doing. And that was a big step forward. Um, because it was before that, it would have, uh, a system might have looked at what the club was doing on the way into the ball and then tried to put that as a, as a readout onto, onto what the ball was doing. Um, and that was really kind of nothing but a novelty. So once, this, once simulators and, and ball tracking started to work off of what the ball was doing, that was a big step forward. The problem was uh, with the early technology that we started out with was that um, it didn't read spin and it missed a lot of the important information. So at that time, I would say simulated golf was really, um, it was great fun. Um, guys would come down here, guys and girls would come down here. And if they played the simulator for long enough, they'd kind of learn how to game the simulator. So they would become very good at playing the simulator. And there were some people that became very good at that time at playing the simulator. But I think for me personally, um, kind of fanatical about golf and I, I didn't really feel that it was, everything that the product could have been um, and felt that it was quite exciting where it could end up. This unit here, which is a, a, it's a launch monitor, which is a kind of little known, uh, but it's, it's done by a company, it's, it's made by a company called Max Out Golf and it's designed by somebody that's become a very good friend of ours, a friend of mine, Tim McGann, who's our sort of partner. We have, we have a, a fitting facility in New York, which, is, which he runs. Um, and he developed the Max Out uh, launch monitor. Tim was a college golfer. Um, his first job out of college was that he, he worked on the development of the tracking system for the cruise missile. So he's quite qualified to make a, an object that, that's uh, a, a system that's looking to track an object in flight. Um, so it's a camera driven launch monitor. Um, there are really two types of launch monitor out there. Um, there's radar and camera. Radar, in my opinion, probably you know, won't be used in golf. Um, in, over the next few years, it will sort of start to fizzle out. And certainly indoors, radar can't really do the job. Um, it just it needs most of the flight of the ball. So it's always going to be cameras indoors. Um, so we were already using this launch monitor in our fittings. And in the later video, we'll explain how this launch monitor works. Um, but the reason I talk about it now is because it, we knew that it was possible to track a golf ball really accurately using cameras indoors. Um, and at one time, we actually started to develop that launch monitor into a simulator, um, which, is, which is another story, really. But uh, during that time, we were also constantly keeping on top of the simulator market. And way back in about 2006, I would say, um, the founder of About Golf Simulators, which is the simulator that we now use, took me to the side at the, at the Orlando PGA show and showed me a new system which he had, which at the time was called 3Track. Um, it was a system where three cameras would track a golf ball uh, with these markings on. So you'll see these quite specific markings on the golf ball. The markings stayed the same as they were then. And on the one hand, my heart sunk because uh, somebody had basically already achieved what we were trying to achieve. Um, but on the other hand, I could see that, that playing golf on simulators was going to get a lot better in the next few years. Um, so we started to, to work with About Golf and to, and to try and get to the stage where we could, we could install these simulators into our sites. Um, one of the interesting points about that is that it took another four years uh, for About Golf to get this camera system able to track all of the shots that you would play during a round of golf on a simulator. So that speaks to a lot of the uh, products that are out there at the moment, which are launch monitors, essentially. They were developed for, as, as launch monitors um, and were geared up around and are geared up around tracking fairly standard golf shots. So full shots with an iron, full shots with a driver. They're not geared up around tracking all of the shots that you would hit during a round of golf. 
Um, and that was what took the time to make this into a simulator that you could actually play golf on as opposed to just hitting golf shots on. Um, and at Urban Golf now, a crucial part of, of what we do is as people coming down here and being competitive and playing in our competitions and, and seeing that this indoor golf as an add-on to their outdoor game. So that's a really crucial point is just because, you know, you might see pros out on the driving range at a tournament using a certain launch monitor. It doesn't mean that that launch monitor is, is, is uh, accurate and worthwhile when it comes to a golf simulator. What we've got here is something that we can demonstrate and prove is accurate, as accurate as any of those systems on all of the shots that you might want to hit in a fitting or in a lesson, but equally it's able to track all of the shots that you would play during a round of golf playing on the simulator. And that is at the core of why we use these simulators and that's at the core of why uh, playing golf at urban golf, uh, indoors, on these about golf simulators is a credible experience and something that you can be competitive on. So one of the, one of the core issues around um, getting a camera-driven uh, launch monitor to work within a simulator um, is the, the field of vision that the, that the launch monitor might have. So um, here's the original system that we would have used for our fittings, which is the Max Out system. Um, fantastic on uh, normal golf shots. You have to position the ball quite accurately and you have to position the ball in a certain orientation relative to the launch monitor. So a huge challenge when we were looking at developing a simulator was, was that. Um, in a recreation environment, people don't necessarily want to do that and they're, they're just not going to do that with the best ball in the world. So that was something that would have been one of the challenges to develop that. Now what About Golf managed to do in order to overcome this is they, first of all, they put the unit up above. So we've now got a two camera unit which sits above the golfer which is looking down and can see this, this entire area here. So I can position the ball anywhere in quite a wide area and I know that the system is going to pick up the shot. Now the other thing that they've done is they've made the field of vision for those cameras quite large. So if you're ever looking to test out uh, a golf simulator to see if you can play golf on it, the extreme shots, the difficult shots to track, are the shots that the simulator can only see a little bit of. So, Let's say there's a shot which, um, you know, if I'm hitting one straight down the screen, so I'm just aiming straight down the screen and I'm hitting a standard shot here, I've got a four iron. Um, that's really, that's, that's not too difficult in this day and age. Anything that flies off on the extremes, um, so the, sh the shot that, the, that, you know, radar systems would struggle with indoors or, or any of the other camera systems that sit on the floor would be the ones that start on the extreme. So I'm going to try and hit a shot which starts way out to the left, so it's going out of the extreme field of vision of the camera on the left, and then I'm going to try and shape it back. And typically, that would be a very difficult shot to track indoors. So hopefully you can see there by the red line that that shot has started quite a long way left, and the simulator has managed to read that it's coming back with a, with a cut flight. Um, you probably wouldn't have had time to see, but there's a, there's a whole load of numbers that come up on the screen there, spin rate, launch angle, all of the stuff that people are interested in, in in this day and age in golf. It's all there on every shot. It's firing on every shot and giving you that information. So you can have that information when you're playing a round of golf if you want to. I mean, most of the time I think we find that, you know, we'd rather not have that information when we're playing a round of golf, but you can have it if you want to. So I'll try another extreme shot. I'll try and start one way off to the right and uh, see if I can get it bending back to the left. <laughs> that really is way right, but I don't know if you can see that, it is coming back. So I'll try that again, try and start one not as far right and get a bit more shape on it. So that was quite a low spin rate as you would expect um, if I'm putting that kind of shape on the ball. So that was about uh, seventy five percent of the spin rate of the first one. The first one came out about five and a half thousand RPMs and that one was more like three and a half thousand. So I'll try that again. That's a good one. So as you'll see, I have total confidence in this machine and this system using this camera system that I can hit golf shots and I can put, I can, I'm hitting those shots in exactly the same way as I've learned to hit those shots outdoors. There's no change at all. Um, I'll give you another example of a shot that's, that's very difficult for 
an indoor system to track, just to prove that, that we can. Now, this one I'm not quite as good at, but uh, I'll do my best. So anything that comes out very high, so anything that's, that the, the field of vision is only seeing a little bit of because it's coming out of the top of it. So any kind of, this one was actually a bit of a nightmare. I remember this being one of the last shots that About Golf managed to get worked out. So you'll see there, that's hit the top of the screen. Um, and in simulator world, has kind of gone out of view, but it's come down in view. Um, I remember anything, if I can do it, that had curvature on its way to the screen. That type of shot was very difficult. And you'll see that that's actually was dropping down as it hit the screen, so it's only just popped into the screen. So hopefully you can see there that this, this simulator can track all of the shots that you would play during a round of golf. And for, for anyone that's seen uh, some of the launch monitors that professional golfers are using on the range during a tour event or maybe that, that might be being used on television, they're, they're great, they're wonderful pieces of technology because they make uh, launch data accessible um, at, 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 a, at a low price point. But in actual fact, if you want to play golf and if you want to play all of the shots that you need to hit during a round of golf, then you need something that has that field of vision. and the amount of work that went into that um, to, to get that to happen um, was huge. It takes a lot of work to, to build all the models and to get to a place where you can track all of the shots that you need to play during a round of golf.